In this video, I'll take you step by step through how to create a UK PayPal account even if you don't live in the UK. Whether you're from Europe, Asia or anywhere outside the UK, this method works perfectly for receiving British pounds and accessing UK only platforms. And we'll go through everything you need, from setting up your UK limited company to opening a UK business bank account online, and finally setting up your own UK PayPal account. So by the end of this video, you have a fully functional UK PayPal business account that you can use to send, receive and withdraw money worldwide and with all of that being said let's dive right in all right so step one we're going to set up our uk limited company or ltd and the great thing is foreigners can legally form a uk ltd and you don't have to live in the uk to do this and this is important because you cannot open a uk business bank account as a non-resident unless you actually have a uk company so let's talk a bit more about a limited company and what you need for it and how it works so first of all, your company registration goes to the company's house. That's the UK government body that officially registers companies. You'll then get a company name and a UK business address. You will receive a CRN, the company registration number, which is basically your official company ID. You also get a UTR or unique taxpayer reference, which will be your UK tax number. And lastly, every LTD needs a registered UK office address, which is legally required. And now instead of doing all this manually, the easiest way to set this up as a foreigner is by using a UK formation agent. And personally, I use First Formation since they handle everything for non-UK residents. They will take care of the company formation for you, provide you with a registered UK address in London, and make sure everything is filed correctly through the company's house. So let's head over to their website and go to the setup process step by step. And if you want to follow along, I'll leave a link down in the description which will bring you to this page. And from here, we want to choose a business name that we want. Now, this isn't super important, but it needs to be unique. So I will go with VectorTube. From here, I can then click search. Now, as you can see, this company name is available. So we can click choose a package. And now, as you can see, they have a couple of options. And obviously, the one that we want is the special made one for non-residents, which is what we are. So we click on that. And from here, you can read through all the details that they give you. The most important things are they will file the company through the company's house. You get your limited company. And we are able to register our company in the London registered office address of First Formations. Now, if you want a more in-depth guide of what this all entails, I have another video on my YouTube channel. I will leave a link down below where I show how to set up a bank account as a non-US resident, where I talk more about setting up the company in depth. But basically what we can do from here is click buy now. And then here you're going to see the price, which is going to be around £175. And we have all of these upsells. And in short, what I recommend for almost everyone, this is not going to be relevant. For example, the Apostille document will only be relevant if you're opening a bank account or deal with governments outside the UK. This doesn't apply to us as we are going to open a UK bank account and a PayPal account and it's pretty much the same for anything else. What I would recommend though is the pre-submission review. So basically check the company details to avoid mistakes and this could save you a lot of money if anything went wrong. So once you're ready and checked everything, you simply want to click checkout and make the payment. Then after the checkout, there are a couple more things you need to provide. The director details, yourself, so the full name, date of birth, nationality. Then the shareholder details, most likely it will be 100% to yourself. Then the company name confirmation. Uh, for me, there was vector tube, and you want to make it end with either LTD or limited as that's required in the UK. Then you get your SIC code. You need to choose that super easy. It's basically the category that matches your business. For example, if you have marketing services, software development, e-commerce, you basically want to select what fits your business the best. Then the registered office address will be pre-filled in with the London address from First Formations in Covent Garden. And they simply need to do a KYC check of your photo ID or passport. Then next up, what First Formations will do, they will submit your application to the company's house. They will uh, re you the submission and then you'll receive an email confirmation once it has been sent and usually within 24 hours the company will be uh, formed and then after the approval this is everything you will receive the CRN number your full digital company documents listed right here you will have your registered UK office address also mail forwarding access which means that when any mail is sent physically to the Covent Garden address in London. First Formations will scan that mail and send it to you digitally over email. You will get access to your dashboard in First Formations to check everything. 
to view and add your company info at any time. And then later, you will also receive your UK tax number from the UK tax authorities, which is also part of the company documents. Then we move over to the next step, which is opening a UK business bank account. And for this, we have a couple options. My first option is world first. This is also what first formations recommend. It can be opened 100% remotely. You don't need to go to the UK. It is designed for international founders. It provides a real UK account number and sort code, supports multi-currency accounts, can easily connect with third-party software like Amazon, AliExpress, and more fast approval and as I said first formation recommendations as well so this is my first choice for opening a UK bank account there are some other options as well Fundy, Airwallex, Wise very similar as well and then you have the big ones too you've probably heard of HSBC, NatWest, Barclays uh, this isn't usually possible for non-UK residents you need to go there physically and if you're a non-resident or you don't have proof of address they almost always reject the applications so i will leave a link down below to world first as well you'll end up on this page you can simply sign up for free right here and this process is going to be super simple first you want to select your country right here and then we click confirm you want to fill in your personal details right here and then from here you can find your limited company and you register and you can complete this process it's honestly super easy and you gotta use the information you got from forming your company and then your bank account will be set up. Once again, for a full dedicated guide on that, you can watch my previous video about setting up a UK bank account. All right, now we got the business and bank set up entirely done, let's move over to setting up our UK PayPal account. Now you want to go to paypal.com slash UK and first we need a high quality VPN to make this work. As you can see right now at the top, it says explore what PayPal offers in your location, switch to the Netherlands because that's where I currently am. Now I personally use and recommend NordVPN for that I will leave a link down below in the description also for a discount. As you can see right now I'm connected to the Netherlands with a Dutch IP address and what I will simply do I will type in the United Kingdom as you can see it's already there and then I will connect to it and now it's gonna connect to London and now I have a UK IP address. Now we can go back to PayPal and we can refresh just like that and as you can see it brings us back to the uk side of paypal and the pop-up is gone now this is super important before we start so your application won't get rejected based on your ip address then on paypal we're going to click on sign up right here and then we have two options to go with a personal account or business account since we're opening this account from our ltd we select business and we click on get started now from here we first want to fill in our personal information Okay, I've filled in my details and now we have the phone number. And for this, we need a UK phone number. Now, PayPal is pretty strict about this and I don't accept most virtual numbers. But there's a service called Receive SMS where you can rent a virtual UK number for a monthly fee. So, so for this, I will leave a link down in the description as well. You can simply click on order number and then here, as you can see, we can select UK and click buy now. And then from here, you can choose any of the UK numbers. Now for me, as you can see, I have a US and UK number right here as well that I'm going to use for this verification. So from this website, you simply want to copy your number just like that. Now I go back to PayPal and I paste it in right here. Now from here, I will tick both of these boxes and I'll click agree and create account. Okay, there we go. Now we're prompted to do the next part where we can simply click on get started where we need to answer some basic questions. Number one, what do you plan to sell? This isn't super important. I would simply select digital products and then click next. Where do you plan to sell? I will select social media, click next. How do you plan to accept payments? I'll say online checkout and invoicing and then click next. And here for payment options, I will select still working it out. I just want to give PayPal some information and this increases the chance of your account being set up successfully. Click next once again. Now from here, it's gonna give us some suggestions. I'm simply gonna click set up later. Now this is where the good stuff starts. And from here, we want to set up the type of account corporation sole trader or non-profit organization now the one we want to select is corporation partnership or government and for the business type we want to choose a private company this is the correct classification for a uk limited company then we can click next and now we want to fill in some legal information of our business so first the legal business name for me that's vector tube then LTD. Then we want to add a company registration number. Then I will add the company registration number. And for the VAT ID number, this is optional and for most of us not applicable. And then we move over to the registered business address. So I will fill in the registered business address. There we go. And then once again, we need to fill in our UK number. So I'll simply go back here, copy the number just once again. 
just like that and then paste in right here and click continue then we simply need to answer some more questions about the business business industry and for me i'm simply going to do education just like that then we want to fill in when the company was established then the country is already set to the uk the primary currency will be the pounds and for total monthly sales i'm going to do less than 10k per month if you sell on a site you can select yes and fill in your site right here i'm going to do no because i don't have one and then the purpose of the account i will say to receive payments and then here we want to fill in our public business name, which is what other people will see on our account if someone makes a payment. So for that, I will simply do a vector tube, just like that, and then click continue. Now we need to answer some more questions about ourselves. So first of all, the role at the company, you have more than 25% shares, capital or voting rights in the company, yes. So I will select 100 right here, which is for most people also the case. You're a high level decision maker and control of vector tube LTD via asset ownership or family ties. I will select yes, you're authorized, yes. And then we need to fill in some information about ourselves. Then for the nationality, we want to select our nationality. For me, that's not United Kingdom, it's Netherlands. I will type in Netherlands right here. And now it prompts us to fill in the home address, which is only possible in the UK. Now for this, the best way to deal with this is same as registered business address, which they will also accept. So simply click that. And as you can see, it will now pre-fill the address information in London of our registered address. And then we can click continue. Okay, then we are prompted about the stakeholders. We need some information of the stakeholders to verify their identity. So this will be everyone who is a significant stakeholder in your company. If you set this up with multiple people, you need to add them here. Now for me, I'm alone, so I'll simply need to select myself. And here are the requirements. Everyone who owns at least 25% of the business, at least one person who's authorized to act or sign on behalf of the LTD, and then at least one person who makes high level decisions. Once you fill that in, simply click agree and submit. Then about the business entity owners, does the LTD have a beneficial owner that's a legal entity owning more than 25% of the business? For here, for most people, including myself, it's no. Then we click continue. Then here we can add some more information about ourselves, proof of identity. We can add documents of the company to verify and we can link a bank account or card, which we can do using our world first bank account. So you can simply do them right here or click save and close as they're gonna ask this later probably anyway. Now, as you can see, we are led into our PayPal account in British pounds which is already a really good sign. Now you might still see these messages, submit info to access your funds, and here complete your profile and then also link your bank account. Now don't worry, this is completely normal. PayPal just needs a few extra details to fully verify your business account. First, they will ask you to complete your business profile. Here you want to make sure everything matches your UK LTD exactly. They could ask to verify the registration through the company's house, verifying the company registration number, and also verifying the unique taxpayer reference. You basically want to use all the company details, then they will review it and most likely approve it within a couple of days. Completing your profile is even easier. You need to do KYC, so they could ask for an ID verification of your passport, verifying your phone number, and that is pretty much it. After that, you can link your bank account, which you can do with the World First Bank. Once you click this, you can link your bank account. So we can simply click link a new bank account. Then right here, you want to fill in the bank account sort code and the account number, which you can easily find in your world first bank account. And when you do that, they will send two small deposits of less than a pound. And then you will need to fill in that exact amount that they sent to verify that the bank account is yours. But this is pretty much it, guys. You now got your own fully verified UK PayPal account set up through an LTD. I've put all the links you need in the description down below, including first formations, NordVPN, and the SMS receiver. Now, if you have any questions about this process or you're stuck, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.